evening, everyone. Classic Gamer 88 managed to get through Group B, winning all of his matches. Lenofis only had one loss in Group F to Sky Bills. And we'll talk more about that later. We're, we are starting with World 7. So, there have been some updates made to uh, the randomizer. Most notably, um, it just mostly minor cosmetic things, but the world counter is now synced up, so World 1 is World 1 as we see it, rather than World 7, so there will be less confusion. Uh, some additional uh, notes from the princess have been added. And uh, the anchor has been given more properties other than, you know, <laughs> uh, just giving us some um, uh, frog suits all the time. However, what it still gives are vanilla stages. That was 7-3. <laughs> yes, it is. And unfortunately, we did not get a chance to do our, uh, can't get in your vanilla count. So we're already one for two. Uh, 7-5 is 5-4. Yeah, right now, just so it's clear, we are using the same flags as before. It is possible the flags may get harder as we go, but right now, the same flags that you saw during the Swiss stages, ra the round robins, they're still active right now. Right. So, same strategies apply. Get to the warp pipes, hope they take you to the good ones. Classic, eh. ga classic Gamer is going for it. Uh, he's going to take 7-6. Which is a two. It's interesting that uh, both of them went to the pipe on the right side, ignoring, and saw that it took him to seven three, and thought, "Well, let's just go for it." So that's an atypical strategy, and I would have gone back to seven one myself. Mm, not necessarily. Well, it looks like Lenofis is going to actually go to seven four, which today is seven nine. The blue pipe maze. I guess I would go. I guess I would do it based on the idea that you get one pipe for one level rather than two levels for one pipe. That's just as my thinking. But uh, so the fort, the first fortress of today is uh, the six world six fort one. Yep, you have a little bit of a pseudo auto scroller here before you jump down, avoid the roto discs, and enter the pipe. He was, now this... he was close to getting clipped there. Yeah. Ooh. Good finding of the star here. If he chooses to hurry right now, he has a chance to get a quick kill on Boom Boom. Has to hurry, gets it. Yeah, that one's pretty. That one's pretty easy if you're small Mario. You can't do it as big Mario, but if you run un, without running into any obstacles, that's a pretty easy uh, kill. So he gets three pipes here. He just has a piranha plant. Okay, so no good there. So Lenefus is about to end up in the same place as Classic by a different route. He's going to take the Piranha, one of four levels that will always be vanilla in the randomizer. Two Piranhas, the World 5 Tower, and um, uh, Bowser, of course. Everything else is up for grabs. That is correct. And we still keep two auto-scrollers actually auto-scrolling. 5, 9, and a lost level. Lost right. level meaning a level that wasn't actually available in the original game, but is still in the game somewhere. We just dig it out for your entertainment. Oh! Lenofa oh! Classic Gamer got the troll pipe. Yeah. Uh, Lenof is deciding to go back, and... We got a slight hiccup there. So, this is interesting. Um, they're both trying to figure out the routes, and Classic Gamer is going to play 7 2, and it's 7 7. So, we're at to the point now where it's the moment of truth. It's going to be this pipe is going to take them to 7 8, 7 7, 7 8, or it's going to take them to the lock, and it turns out 7 1 was right all along. I'm, the thing is, I don't blame our runners for avoiding 7-1, because mm. you would think, ooh, unexpected death there by Lenofis has to redo the fortress. Yeah. So, I I don't know, I, I'm just, just based on my preference, I probably would have played 7-1 myself, but, you know, what are you going to do? We're going to play 7-1. <laughs> we're playing 7-1. <laughs> All right, now we're having some fun. 
So, hope you've enjoyed this pipe maze because they have to go all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> Classic, uh, I think, is playing... I think he had to play that. Uh, didn't get anything out of the end card game. Len Lenof is finishing up the, the uh, fortress. And Classic Gamer is hoping that 7-1, once he gets there, does not have anything horrible. Yeah, you know, 7-5 or 6-6 six, six or, you know, a level riddled with boss passes. Of course, we're all hoping for that, but I know he isn't. And he gets one of, one. The, eight, one of the eight lost levels instead. Yep, 1-5 beta. And what a tease. <laughs> now, if it helps, I don't think the enemies within the Lost Levels are randomized yet. I... Some of them are. I mean, boss bass has shown up in some of these levels where they shouldn't. But, uh, yeah, in general, the basic templates do not show. So... So with this in mind, 7-8 is... Wait seven, a second. Four. It's 7-4. <laughs> now, this is not an auto-scroller, but it's still kind of annoying. Also, I believe there was a change involving this level. Yeah, they... I think they, um... They did something with, uh... I, I'm not quite sure how to explain I, I it. I just saw I, it! Classic Gamer bumped into a ceiling. I think a ceiling yeah. was placed in there so That's that you can't right. just swim over. Right. Lenoff is also going for 7 8. And, uh. But a 7 4 in Rando actually isn't so awful just because, um. You know, you can go at your own pace and you're not really at the mercy of those, uh. Bloopers. 7-9 is 6-1, a popular level for a boss bass. So we're getting giant enemies, by and large, so far. But I've, I've seen boss bass pop up in this level like five or six times, both watching and playing, so... Well, uh, not this time, so hopefully this upcoming fortress will be kind. <laughs> well, oh. for our runners, anyway. Yeah. Okay, uh, it is the World yep. 3 Fortress 1, so pretty simple fortress, and Classic using his P-Speed his, uh, P -speed strats to sail through it. A lot of frog suits for Lenophis. It's got three of them. Eh, nothing wrong with the frog suits. They give you an extra hit. Well, extra two hits if you start small. I right. guess really the only disadvantage is uh, moving on land is awkward. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. And uh, classic, uh, since he doesn't have a music box, it's gonna just run with uh, the second piranha level and pick up his free item. And it's a music box. <laughs> Lenoff is picking, taking a five up, which is a rather popular strategy early on. Just get one early. Give yourself a nice little backlog of lives. Yeah, lives and items are valuable resources that our runners like to take advantage of. Lenophis was, I don't know if, uh, hoping for one up there or not, but did get a Fire Flower, which will help with a quick kill on Boom Boom. In the meantime, here is Ludwig von Koopa, otherwise known as Kooky von Koopa, if you actually follow the uh, old uh, show. In this case, uh, no more Earthquake, and instead high jumping, but four hits is death. And Classic is done at 9.14. I don't know if this is about going to be about a minute or so behind after one world. And uh, just to give you a quick rundown on their average times, uh, Classic finished his three matches in an average time of 45 minutes and four seconds. Lenophis uh, was at finished at fifty six fifty five. Now, how difficult were the seeds for both of the runners? I 
I think I, I cannot say I saw Lenophis. I did see, uh, I think, two of Classic Gamers matches, and one was pretty fast. One, I think, was predicated on some very good guesses, his part. Well, unfortunately, uh, the pipes chose to not align themselves for Classic Gamer, has to take the long way around and encounter 1-4. Another auto-scroller turned off. Lenophis finishing up... Uh, Ludwig with Ludwig and he's in at 1017. So we've gone through world seven and six. Are we gonna get uh, reverse world order? That'd be interesting. This is a randomizer, so anything can happen, but uh, backwards consecutive worlds, I don't think we've seen that yet. All right, fork in the road, going to six three, which is hand stage, the second one to be specific. Yes. So whatever item he gets here will be repeated in the other two hand stages. So you're hoping for something really nice here. And Tanuki it's a suit! <laughs> well, he's going to look fabulous, uh, if nothing else. Uh, he's going to go to the fortress, and it is super tanks. Yeah, without the auto-scroller here... Oop, you mainly have was, to watch out. <laughs> I, I think that was actually intentional. I think he just wants to just run through this without having to worry about flying. That did not look intentional to me, though I do understand where you're coming from. Whenever you jump while running in peace speed with a raccoon tail, you yeah. do kind of hover a little, for lack of a better term. Right. So, skipping the Hammer Brothers, he's going to go straight to 6-4, and it is another lost stage. Sort of a 5-7 beta. Yeah, well, it's definitely a beta, just a lot of falling enemies and a half-constructed pipe that still works. <laughs> yeah. God, it still works. Lenofa's gonna deal with the Hammer Brothers, see what item he gets. Uh... Took a little bit of damage, but gets a star for the efforts. 6-5, already equipped in the Tanuki suit, and it is 7-2. This shouldn't be too bad, as long as Boss Bass doesn't hang out at the top. Right, and he's got the Tanuki, so he doesn't have to do two passes through this. There's the pipe drop. Lenophis is about to get a Tanuki suit. Oh, Angry Sun almost surprised us. <laughs> it's our first... Is that our first Angry... A little uh, statue swag there. I believe that was our first... Um, uh, it wasn't uh, the first Angry Sun. A2 also had it. That's, you're right. That's vanilla, too. He loses his Tanuki suit. Uh, gets a star. Hammer Brother. So that's... Hammer Bro's not giving out a lot today. So far. Yeah, we just have to find the right ones. That's all. Ooh! Yeah. Well, that there, star came that's, a little late. That's better. Ah, uh, yes. Lack of two cloud. Allows you to skip a level, but you have one life to do it on. Hammer Brothers hand stage. This is the first may one. Maybe a good one, especially with the Sludge Bros. Yeah. Well, he got through it. Like if you, if you use a lack of two cloud, you want to use it for um, fortresses, and you want to use it for really brutal levels, like seven, five, or six. He's going to use it on the fort, so he's going to skip on to 6-8, and... Oh, is... boss pass in 1-1! One, one. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this is time well... If this was a well-spent uh, Lakitu Cloud. He's got to be a little careful here, but 1-1's one, pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah, but it's this ending hurdle that I'm concerned about. Yeah. Okay, it classic gamer is good. <laughs> timed it right. Yeah, Boss Bass can make any Lakitu skip feel evil. Ooh, 7-1, the wrong warp way. How many... Uh, that's... See how many tries it takes him to get the uh, the clip in the wall here. It's all based on that sub-pixel. It can do it perfectly, but if that sub-pixel isn't there, uh, you're going to have to do it again. And if you accidentally go in the door, you have to choose between whether to go through the stage normally or just take a death and, in this case, choose a different stage. Right. 
I'd probably just go through it, and it takes about 45 seconds to do the level. Now, at what in-game time do you just decide to stop going for it? Uh, probably about 2.40. Which means Classic Gamer doesn't have many more shots. Well, thank God he's not playing on my time. He's really going for it. There he there is. There we go. So. Lenovus is a couple of stages behind, but uh, still very, very much a race. Ooh, oh! oh! Boomerang Bros get their revenge. The third fortress of World 6 is uh, World 5 Fort 1. Probably one of my one of my least favorites personally. I don't like all the jumps in this in the fort, but classic showing why it can be how it can be really easy and fun. Yeah, thwomp positions don't help. You have to have very precise jumps, and uh, well, at least uh, classic is done with that. Here's hoping the airship is a kind one. World, the World 4 airship, uh, as I've said many times before, the reason I think they created the randomizer just so they could make this go fast. <laughs> it, it's a, a two-minute time sink in vanilla. Here, um, takes, what, 30 seconds? So, Lemmy is going to be a little tricky because of the height of the arena, but it uh, looks like Classic oh. got the... Got it. Uh-oh. More than three hits. Four hits That's... is a five hit Lemmy. Yeah, Maybe. and in the meantime, Lenophis had to deal with a suddenly appearing Sky Boss Bass, but we got to skip a fortress, so. Yeah. And he's also going for 610. And Classic is done with World 2 or 6, if you prefer, at 1640. Very nicely done, and Lenophis is going to just play it through. So, that's one fortress that we will never see, and a piranha plant that's... Oh, it was a spiny. Gotta yeah, love uh, sprite limitations. Also, hello yeah. there again, Goomba Shoe. Hello there again, uh... Donut Lift. So, there goes the reverse uh, world theory. World 3 is World 1. No hammer, so he's gotta play 1-1. Uh, one, one. Which is the Oasis. Well, not the Oasis, the Desert Sandstorm Sage. My mistake. Yeah, I, just, I just call it Quicksand. A lot of Quicksand in this level. But he's got a, uh, he's got a uh, roving Cheap Cheap to deal with. Uh, he's Lenophis using his hammer. I think he's going to regret that in about a minute. And he's going to use Froggy Strats to uh, go through... Um, a World 4 airship, and World 1-2 is... 1-2! One, one, two. Two. Red! You <laughs> did it again! That's, That's two for the counter! But at least the enemy set is... Ooh, we got three Goomba shoes showing up here! While yeah. Anophis is dealing with... Come on, one more hit, I believe. Yeah. There we go. Chad is saying uh, we can call him Leno if we wanted. So whatever makes whatever he's happy with. So eighteen twenty-five. So he's about two minutes behind. First fortress, fortress of world one is the world five fort two. Another level, another fort with really uh, nasty uh, spice jumps and. So, yeah, it's uh, gotta love dealing with Sky Poodaboos, and that ending rush to the pipe is not the friendliest thing in the world either. No. One five is four three. Four, three. Right. So we're about about a, ha about a half a world difference so far. I'll admit, I never understood 4-3, because the only real giant part is the beginning, and then you're just taken to this underground, where um, there aren't any giant enemies at all. That's true. Uh, I don't know, but uh, maybe uh, its challenge is giant, because it can be a really nasty level. If, you're, if you've never seen this one before, it's like, oh boy. So... That 
is a good point, admittedly. Well, yeah. so it's not it's not the best one I could come up with, but uh, it'll do. Uh, one six is three uh, three two. Um, another popular uh, level among the speedrunners I know. It looked classic, taking his time. Taking advantage of that tail to land on the cheap cheeps. Ooh, nice swag there. Oh, but missed the ending swipe on the piranha plant. Yeah. And, whoa, that was Big Bertha down there. That's yeah, there. I've seen that a couple of times. It, it just looks weird. I agree. It's like you, you barely see Big Bertha in a non-water stage. Ooh, and you don't want to see Fire Bros in a sky stage. Ooh, you, just don't see you just don't want to see Fire Bros, period. P wing for that for all that work, so Alright. Inter Using a Interesting uh <sighs> theory by Jiggly Saint says the giant enemies took over the surface of four three, so the regular sized monsters moved to live underground. That works. Time for Larry Koopa, aka Cheatsy. We didn't get a chance to cover, but Lemmy is also known as Hip. Right. And he's on his own. He's on his own airship and everything. And he's going to need five hits. So we've got our third vanilla stage. Classic going for the uh, the clip in the ceiling. I don't think I think it was a little short on that. Yeah, this was going to be a long fall. Wee! Yeah, but he's done at twenty one oh five and. And I wish I knew where that reference came from. Then you could probably look it up. Uh, world four is world four. Fred. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't think this counts for the counter. No, it doesn't. But uh, it's nice to say, Fred. I'm trying to reduce that, but uh, yeah. if you want to say it, by all means. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, classics, not even gonna bother with the end card game. He's just gonna power through. Strategy that has worked quite well for. Him. So now we see four one, which is three seven, I believe. Oh, another boss bass. This, this is... is not a friendly stage for boss bass, especially no. if you somehow don't time it right. Coming there yeah another pop it's three seven is another one i've seen uh boss bass multiple times and four two is five one the chain chomp ascent this one shouldn't be too bad at least if boss bass were to come in because the elevations change a good deal you go up and then you go down and in Now, interesting, Leno. Uh, Leno keeps on going for the Toad Houses while Classic Gamer is powering on, as we've uh, discussed. Holy dive into Atlantis. Yeah. Is that what we're calling I it? The dive into Atlantis? I like that. Uh, I'm still toying with better names, but we'll go with it for now. All right, all right. So, yeah. Uh, ooh, almost went into the drink there. Good. Uh, th the first half of this level is really the problem part. Once you get past that, it does tend to settle down a bit, but uh, those the early enemy draw can really be nasty. Indeed. But once you're up on the surface, easy access to a power-up, and then just a short dive to the finish. To get back to what I was going for earlier, Leno is spending a lot of time getting items. Yeah. And with Classic Gamer powering through, that's actually adding more of a lead for Classic Gamer. Yeah, he's got about a based on the based on my split series about a two minute forty second advantage based on when they fin when they both got the wand from uh, World One, if you will. So it would. If he gets more, if he does well in the end card game and gets more hammers, that'll play to his advantage because we still have worlds two, uh, five, and two, three, and five left to play, and two and five can be big, but it can be really beneficial. Uh, Proa, add yes. another one to the counter. What? Oh, vanilla? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like it's so subtle I completely missed it. <laughs> so that's four. We've had two regular levels, a fortress, and an airship, and Len Leno <laughs> lose, mistimes his play and goes right into uh, the chasm. Which means we have to deal with Boss Bass again while Classic Gamer two in a row? Seriously? <laughs> wow. Four, four. Man. And yes, it is possible. Four, five, and four, six could be vanilla. We have not seen those levels yet. Nor have we seen the world two, second four to world four. Classic uh, gets through four, four with uh, no trouble. So on we go. Ooh, Lenos has the same issue, but does take out the fire bro. Double sledge bros for classic gamer. And he skipped the first set of Hammer Brothers, which I think were the Fire Bros, so they, he's probably going to have to face them next. He's like, yep. Oh, they chose to come back, and yep. <laughs> this could be a real time sink if he's not careful. This is not a favorable draw. And the Hammer Bros didn't move. They don't. They usually don't. They run... If the they they come to you, uh, you're stuck. So that is that is that is guaranteed functionality. If they arrive at your spot, you cannot move out. Right, as I understand it. But he gets a, it's all worth it. It's a hammer. <laughs> so Claris is calling it a penalty loop. That seems appropriate. Four six it is four six. <laughs> And Boss Bass is here, too! Come on! Well, <laughs> well, well. That is six stages so far, and Boss Bass is just hovering with joy about this. Seriously, look at that position! <laughs> okay. Somebody get Fred on the horn. He, he needs to get uh, reamed out for this. Leno using a cloud to skip 4-3, and... And uh, it's again! <laughs> again! Okay. Seed's broken, they have to do this again, everybody. Sorry, but this is not randomizer. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. Now, fortunately, the streak is going to end because we've already encountered the World 4 airship. Unless, magically, it winds up being the World 4 airship again. At that point, we got a busted seed. But nope, no. Nope, it, it's not busted. It's World 3. Damn, I was really hoping. <laughs> but what? That is, that is something to get that level of vanilla in a row. Now, we got to see if... Leno's going to play 4-5 instead of 4-6. And in the meantime, Earthquake and Iggy, otherwise known as Hop, but not Hoppin', except out of here. And Classic is done. It is at the halfway point at 28-15. So, so for the record, everybody, we have had seven vanilla levels. One airship two forts, and four levels. And four of them happened in a row, pretty much. Yeah. So, we'll be, so we'll see. The next world is world two. Uh, four, five, well, it's got a five at the end, but it's six, five. So, Classic using his hammer, we got a little uh, hiccup here on his uh, feed. Well, he is in a stage. Uh, Leno has to go back. Ooh, that is 5-5. Five, five, five. Five. Okay. So, ooh, nope. lost, his, lost his footing there. Probably wasn't expecting to, uh, I think it was a tail loss from the yeah. fire chomp. And, uh, yeah. So, Leno, using the uh, the shell, wasn't required, but certainly doesn't hurt. 
classic uh, keep around the fire chain of the snake fire and Leno <laughs> Leno is wondering what is going on with this seed and Ooh. oh the other auto scroller we got both of them this time this is 5-9 folks <laughs> The soul, well, technically not soul, but in the in the vanilla game, the soul diagonal scrolling level. Right. And this level isn't too long. It only takes about 40 seconds, but those fire chains are why it is feared and rightly so. Even though the enemies are randomized, you got a decent chance of them popping up. And there's no power-ups on this stage either. Nope. Gotta play it through. But there's only one fire chain. There's usually two. So he's fortunate. Leno is now dealing with uh, the Quaken Iggy. 2-5 is... Uh, do, I need, do we need to say this? <laughs> <laughs> That's number Ding! eight, folks. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't... Uh, full disclaimer, folks. I rolled the seed. I wasn't expecting to be trolled this much. So, so send your angry hate mail to him, not me. <laughs> okay, the pyramid. Well, thank God it is not the pyramid. It's 1-3. <laughs> but it's got a... F Ooh... Fire Nipper Piranha. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be so thankful. Also, Leno is taken the long way, encounters 2-2 two, two at 2-1. Two, two. Oh. This is the oh. oasis I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah. Oof. So, so Classic is going to go for the item. Yep. Good position for it. This will take a little bit of time, but hopefully it's something good. It won't be the whistle. And oh! Uh, that that was censored for your benefit, folks. We did yeah. not need to see a boss bass death. Well, and uh, all that work turned out to be for a mushroom. So... Classics on the World 7 airship, and Leno is on our fourth uh, lost level, actually. It's even quite a f Yeah, I, is Ooh. this supposed to be 3-9 beta? Uh, 3-9 and probably a little of 7-2 as well. It, it could go either way. Alright, here is Morton Koopa. Here's the big mouth. There goes the big mouth. Just one hit. Ooh, and it's the Dark Door Maze for Leno. Yeah. Roundly hated by uh, many runners. I don't particularly mind this fort. I, they're certainly worse. I, once you kind of get a uh, handle on the, uh, the level, it's pretty good. And we get our Lemon Tree reference for you Simpsons fans out there. And Leno chooses to take a dip in the lava? Nah, it couldn't have been intentional. Probably not. World 3 is next. We're, we're, we're on World 3, so World 5 will be after. Well, yeah. it's going to be a quick World 3. Actually, we're on World 6, but uh, and it's the God Pipe, and uh, it's the World 5 airship, so that just leaves the World 2 airship in play. Ooh, Leno, Le Leno hit the ceiling there. Wendy, two hits, three hits. Careful. Okay, four. Bye hits. bye, cutie pie. Don't know why you're called that. A 70 second uh, World Six for uh, Classic, and that just leaves the Sky Skyland for the grand finale before we get to Bowser. Th that is correct. I'm still going to refer to the original map names or map worlds uh, yeah. <laughs> and no, uh, the the Mario King is uh, I don't get their preferences but okay 
by the way, please give our runners a follow as they are certainly giving us a very interesting race as we now encounter 1-6 at 5-1. That couldn't have been 5-1, that's for sure. <laughs> We've already seen that, but hey, 5-2 could be 5-2 and 5-3 could be 5-3. You are just asking for more vanilla levels at this point, Proa. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I swear my commentating partners are out to troll me more than the seed is. <laughs> we, have nope. very we, have, we have very different definitions of trolling, then. 5-2 is 3-6. Uh, another auto-scroller turned off. Can be a can be a little challenging, especially if you get enemies like that. You know, trying to trip you up while you're jumping. Man, not a very particular, not a particularly nice uh, set of enemy set for this level. Oh, uh, Hendrix, a uh, classic gamer is actually ahead right now. He is in the seventh world. The HUDs have been updated so that you know the actual world position that they're in. So if you see World Seven, that means they're on their seventh world. Leno's going for the uh, uh, the end card game. Try and close this one out. Uh, okay, well, he'll cle it'll clear it out the next time around. And we have our fifth uh, lost level. Uh, the sort of 6-4-esque beta, if you will. Um... I'm I'm trying to think of a good name to call this. Uh, the iceberg level. Yeah. yeah. Well, whatever it is, it's gone. Uh, Amoeba uh, Hue Draw. Where uh, game HUD is accurate. So on the bottom left corner of the game screens, we can talk about this because it's the tower, and this is always vanilla, so we don't count this on the uh, fun tracker. <laughs> uh, so on the bottom part of the screen, you see the HUD. World 7, it says World 7, even though this is technically World 5 that Classic Gamer's in, this is the seventh world that he has encountered. Right. So that means Classic Gamer is ahead by two worlds because Lenophis is still in world five even though it's world two. This right. is one of the recent changes made to the randomizer. Yeah. Yeah. A few minor cosmetic changes were made for uh, the bracket stages of the randomizer. So classic using his hammer and his cloud skip and ooh, oh, seven five. Now well, it doesn't look like Boss Pass is going to be around, so there is that, but this is... Uh, we so, don't know yet. <laughs> boss Pass could appear. Good, but uh, odds are dwindling, but this enemy set is not looking particularly uh, fun so far. So, yeah, 7-5. Oof. Classic. Wishing he hadn't uh, burned through all of his uh, breakable blocks. Well, at least got through the fire snake. Now has to deal with the fire chomp. There we go. Um, Ooh, nice clip there. Classic. Managed to... <laughs> go ahead. I was a yeah, classic with the nice wall clip. I think he's probably going to go for the one at the end, too, knowing him. But I'm pretty sure he can do it. He... Uh... No, nope. uh, uh... Lenophis fell... Wait, I didn't know you can fireball the, uh, the oh, yeah. fire chomps. Oh, yeah. Yep. And he gets the clip. And he's out of 7-5. Saves him about... Saves him overall... Saved him, probably did save him overall about 10-15 seconds having to double back. So... 5-9. Five, five. Man. Lost level number six? Man. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the remaining two that we haven't seen yet. We haven't seen the 5-3 beta. Um, I'm trying to remember the other one. Well, whatever. Whatever the case, we can work that out later. 
but yes, that's and as Kiru says in chat, that's six lost levels and eight vanilla for those of you kept playing along at home. And now the World Two airship. So still potential for vanilla in World Eight. We have seen very little. Uh, we've only we've seen eight. We haven't seen regular tanks or the Navy or the Air Force or eight one. One hit kill for Roy. Classic is on his way to Bowser at forty thirteen. Yeah, I guess Bully wasn't much of a bully this time. Oh, that's right. We haven't, Human Mustard pointed out, we haven't seen the Waterfall beta yet either. So, those are the two, we haven't seen the 5-3 beta or the Waterfall beta. Le Leno taking, doing a good job uh, holding uh, Wendy. Just one ring and he's done at 40-55, but he's about seven minutes behind. Well, the tank level is 3-9. Uh, Kirusaru, we did see... Oh, I, I see what you were referring to. Yeah, we did see those three levels so far. Have but in seen... this case... Well, our runners are going to hope that we don't have to worry about them at all. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've seen the, those three, plus we've seen uh, two hands. Now, now, baseball, Kaniac, we have seen at least three levels with boss passes, so... Yeah. So the Navy is the Ice Fortress from World 6. And the Starman, don't know how well it's going to help with the ice physics, but it, if the thwomps are in the way, there you go. Ooh, nice moving just in time. Yeah, Stars certainly don't hurt, but yeah, it's like... And Boom Boom goes down as Lenophis is now in World 5. I, I know, it's actually World 7, but again, I still refer to the old-fashioned right. worlds. So, he's got two pipes here. Where are they going to take him? Uh, well, that's, that's a... Yeah. That's a dead end. Wait, does he still have a hammer? No. Uh, Has nope. to take the other one. Okay, where is this going to take him? The well. other end. <laughs> no more lucky to cloud. So, but an easy a, a relatively easy fortress, world 2 fortress. Yeah, oh. Desert Fortress home to the Boo Diddleys. Yeah. Classic Gamer just met one in person. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure was not intentional. I think he just didn't expect it. He was already committed to his jump. So... Hotfoots are not causing a problem in the spike room. And here's the only dark boom boom in the game. Maybe they intended him for, for, for him to be a mummy or something. I don't know. Could be. How so limitations got, are a thing. He's got two. He's got two pipes to check out before committing to any actions. Uh, hand bridge. Probably not going that way. Not unless we have no choice. Where will this one take us? Hand bridge. It oh! is. So. Classic Gamer is going for the hand bridge. For those that are unfamiliar with the hand bridge, you have to cross three tiles. There's a 50-50 shot that you will be grabbed and dragged into a stage just like that. It's seven. Well, seven. seven. Yeah, seven six isn't too bad. Yeah, and he, he, if he gets his if he gets his clip in, there's boss pass and gets the wall clip, no problem. And technically, that was a yeah fourth boss pass at the Sky Tower. I just noticed that. Yeah. Gets through, and so he 
one hand in the Air Force is, well, close. The in the Navy, where you can sail the seven seas. In the Navy, where vanilla is not quite cheese. In the Navy, where coming up with rhymes a breeze. In the Navy, in the Navy. Somebody please clip that. <laughs> I actually made that up. That one was made up off the cuff there. Just... <laughs> Also, Lenophis ended up encountering, uh... Oh, that was the third fortress. Also, yeah, that was another vanilla. No, that wasn't vanilla. Never No, mind. that wasn't vanilla. That... It, it was close. So... And, gosh. oh! Nope, you have to defeat 8-1 and 8-2. Yep. So... Could have been worse. We could have had to play all three of the hands, I suppose. And 8-2 is 5-7, so we have one more chance for vanilla. An 8 1 B 8 1. Are Classic. you actually asking for that? <laughs> At this point, we might as well uh, get every last every last drop of uh, entertainment out of this as we can. Come on, who wants to see? Uh, and we have a and we have a clip. You're famous. <sighs> At least that one was a decent rhyme. <laughs> Not bad. Six Not two. Bad. Yeah. Eight vanilla though. That's that's pretty. The only other thing that could possibly be vanilla is the third hand being uh, vanilla. However, unlike, and we we will get to see that. So who knows? Oh, Leno almost finished with uh, the World Two airship. And uh, <laughs> Roy is not our boy. Down he goes. Classic gamer on the home stretch. <laughs> We've already oh. encountered the Navy, so I'm good there. And it's the There's Air Force. There's the Air Force. <laughs> so they got uh, everything got all twisted around here. Air Force. Eh. Is Actually, I think the Air Force being uh, in the Super Tanks level is actually appropriate. You know, they're going to bomb, carpet bomb the area before, before Mario can get to uh, Bowser's Castle. So, Classic taking his time with this. While Wait. Leno is going through 3-9 right now. Ooh, looks like Boom Boom did take the P-Wing away, but it doesn't matter. Well, I think he's, I think he, that might, again, might have been intentional, because he does have a hammer suit, and I think he'd rather use that. He only has one, though, so has to make it count. I'm sure he will. He's well on his way to about a 49-minute uh, run at this rate. Going up the stairs. One up clip. Easy peasy. He's trying to maintain the high path. So far, so good. Surprise laser, not a problem. Nice, ma ma nice maneuvering. Here is Bowser Koopa. There was Bowser Koopa. That will do it. Classic Gamer is our winner for the opening match of the Mario 3 Randomizer Bracket Stages. He is finished and is dot done with an official SRL time of 48 minutes, 42 seconds. Get your GGs out in chat, folks. I am really, uh, strong run. I mean, it's not even... I'm not even sure we could really call it a mistake per se, but uh, apart from uh, not doing 7-1 first, it was a very good run. Yeah, I mean, I can't fault our runners for wanting to avoid 7-1, just, you know, following the options, but yeah. it's just how it happened. Yep. So we try and get uh, Classic in here for an interview.
In the meantime, Leno is going through 5-7. Hoping to... Wait a second. 5-7... Yeah. Leno didn't go for the hand bridge. Uh, not yet. No, he's going straight for it. He's 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 gambling. Uh, this is the right gamble in this case, but yeah. Darn, I was really hoping to see if that third hand level was actually hand three. Oh well. <laughs> we do. <laughs> so we are we are officially stuck at eight vanilla levels, folks. I see you here. <laughs> No, oh. slipped off the ice. What is he need a P wing? Not a bad idea. Just don't lose your footing that quickly. Classic will be along in a few moments. Uh, meantime, we're watch Leno. Leno is on his way to uh, finishing six two. Another auto scroller turned off, and with some awkward jumps here and there, particularly near the end. It's like six, six, seven, similar in that respect. There's some awkward jumps you have to make because you're used to um, the auto scroller aspect, and it really does help in that respect. So, I know a very, ha I know a very happy boy right now. However. This would be an excellent stage to use a P-Wing, and I yeah. don't know if Leno has any more. It's a, it's a good safety strap, but I don't think it's faster, actually. This Well, at this point, I, I'm sure he knows by now, but... Uh, still on his way to about a 53.30 or so. so I'm, I think he has a hammer suit as well. I don't remember when the hammer suits were gotten. Probably through one of the uh, world-ending prizes. I think that was one of them. I Leno, I think, picked up. Pick, ah, welcome, uh, classic gamer eighty-eight uh, GG. On as you called it, a disgusting seed. Thank you very much. So, what was more disgusting, the eight vanilla levels or the fact that seven one turned out to be the correct answer? Uh, neither of those, actually. Probably the most disgusting about it was how terrible I played tonight. Yeah. I didn't see you playing terribly. Can you elaborate? If you didn't see it, then you obviously don't know what level I can get on. That was very terrible for my amazing standards. Uh, I no, I had no real outright mistakes from what I saw, and but I, oh. you know, there were there were a few trouble spots uh, here and there, but overall pretty efficient and you know took took some of the really longer levels pretty well and seven five you did really well i thought yeah the best stage that i could actually clip on <laughs> well yeah seven one gave you a few uh gave you a few trials there with uh, the clipping it took about a few tries longer than usual but uh you know such as it is right Nice, nice to start the bracket stage with a win, right? At least. I'm just happy in general yeah. to do it, and I have no idea how I got a sub fifty in that seed. So I think I'll take that one. Yeah, and considering you know you had to you had to take the law the take the uh, scenic route through World Seven. I mean, yeah, that's still that's very impressive. They uh, still landing a sub uh, sub fifty and. Good, and good hammer use, I think, was all definitely key for you. Yeah, I'm just glad to finally get hammers. So, uh, and, Lenef and Lenefus is done. He is not done with an official SRL time of 53 minutes, 56 seconds. So... Uh, 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 Leno, you want the good news or the bad news? I'll take the bad news first. Uh, it wasn't four. It was eight vanilla levels. Oh my goodness. Okay, what's the good news? It was eight vanilla levels. Oh, we got a feedback loop. Uh, yeah. So, well...
<laughs> I guess I guess the good news in that context is that um, you know you only had to play four vanilla levels. I'll say it. I woo. But I it was uh, it was um, pretty uh, trolly in that, that respect. Was a right? That was just a terrible seed. Just terrible. <laughs> Uh, don't tell me you're going to try to ban me from rolling seeds again. Oh yeah, you, I think you've lost all privileges for life after that one. <laughs> I'll just gain them back, you know. Oh, I'm sure, but uh, for the time being, uh, life. <laughs> so, uh, okay, apart from this being awful, 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 uh, any other uh, general thoughts, impressions? Well, uh, I saw that Big Bertha tried to snipe me a couple times. Uh, succeeded once. <laughs> well, <laughs> one yeah. of the beta stages. Yeah, she is. Yeah, terrible. we ended up censoring that death. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, it was a I little could, gruesome. If I could say what this seed was in general, and I'm sure a lot of people might appreciate out there, this <laughs> seed was fire. <laughs> there was a lot of that, yes. Uh, <laughs> a lot of, yeah, lot of, red, a lot of, a lot of red on the board. And uh, Wolf, you're not getting a, ver you're not getting a lot of love from Gimp. Uh, chat about the seed you rolled for him. So, <laughs> which one was that? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I called that one. But uh, <laughs> so. So, uh, so, so sad to say, Eleno, uh, this is it for you uh, as far as the tournament goes. What did you think of the uh, tournament overall? It was a lot of fun. Uh, I was expecting to get bodied a lot more, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. What what I get? What did surprised you the most uh, as you played through the randomizers? Sort of got acclimated to how it worked. What surprised you the most? Um, I guess that uh, RNG can be a cruel mistress. <laughs> <laughs> that frog can. suits were frog suits were plentiful. <laughs> yeah, you had three at one point. Uh, so uh, how how uh how well practiced were you in Mario three before you joined the tournament? I were you a speed runner or had you just played casually? I was just a casual runner. Uh, I have not speed run any categories of this game before. I just uh, played off and on, pretty much. Okay. Oh, so good to know that your uh, you know basic fundamentals pulled you through to the brackets. So be proud of that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so, so, so classic. Uh, you get to sit and wait. Uh, for the second round match, you'll get to play the winner of Buzz Thunder and Jobum. Yes, indeed. So, apart from you know working on your clipping and hoping for fewer boss fasts, is anything you're going to work on for your next round? I think. Um the the best thing that I'm probably going to work on and that I need to make sure I keep doing is to avoid the end spade unless forced because end spade is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> It was definitely I, garbage this run. <laughs> yeah, I think it only pulled. I think you drew one hammer out of that Leno, and that was it. I mean, otherwise, it was not. Uh, it was not the. Uh, at least for those who do play it, it, there wasn't. You weren't yielding a lot, from what I could see. Mm hmm. Yeah, it uh, it was just garbage all around. <laughs> well, and you guys still finished it under fifty five minutes, so. There is, there, thank heaven for small favors, right? Yep, and uh, hopefully fewer really stupid deaths on my part. I just had a lot of instances where I jumped, and game was like, no, you didn't jump. <laughs> yeah, I saw you had a couple of those, like, that wasn't on purpose. I mean, some of them I kind of thought, well, maybe he's just playing for strategy, and then there were others like, no, that can't be right. Yeah, that's the lovely um, edge pixel, is what we call it. Uh, <laughs> very good. So I, uh, I only have you... one more question for classic. 
Uh, are you going to actually let me roll your seed if I end up commentating, or are you going to do everything you can so that I don't roll it? <laughs> you can do whatever you want, because apparently this seed wasn't good enough to keep me down. Where is my three flight went? <laughs> Where is my small Mario only? Where is my no power-ups? Come on now! Final destination? <laughs> Give me everything. Give me your worst. I'm not afraid. This is my first step to the finals. All right. Woo! Uh, no longer what? for life, Proa. <laughs> well, well, it was good while it lasted. Uh, all right. Well, thank you both. Uh Congrats, uh, Classic Gamer, on your win, and congrats, Leno, on uh, making it to the bracket stages. Uh, sorry to see you go. I uh, ho hope you'll, we do an, if we do another one of these, you will join again. I believe I will. All right. Well, with that, I think we're going to wrap it up for tonight. I am ProA007. I'm happy to have commentated this match for you, and along with Wolfman2000. Let's not forget to thank our runners, Classic Gamer 88 and Lenophis, our restreamer, JK Allen, of course, Proa, Big John for organizing this tournament, and yeah, this is Wolfman2000 saying, until next time, watch out for everything, apparently. Good yeah. night! Yeah, and, re and real quick before we head out, we have matches coming up in the next few days. Uh, we have on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern a match between Claris.com and Rupert83. On Wednesday, we have several matches. Uh, we will apparently have a four-way between Seawolf1 and Paradox64 on at 8 o'clock Eastern, and joining them also apparently will be Grand Pooh Bear and Raikou Rider. At um, 7 Eastern on Wednesday, we will have uh, actually a second round match between uh, Sky Bills and Killer App 23, who advanced today after a forfeit by his opponent. On Thursday, we have the, the uh, match between at 7 p.m. Eastern between Buzz Thunder and Jobum. Uh, Classic Gamer will play the winner of that match in round two. And at 10.30 Eastern on Thursday, we have Human Mustard and Winchuck Attacks uh, facing each other in a first-round matchup. So uh, keep an eye out on uh, speedgaming.org and on Randomania for uh, the schedule. And until then, we will see you very soon. Thanks.